submersible aerators are being installed in terminal disposal plants of sewage or general wastewater disposal plants to maintain the biological oxygen demand, namely BOD, above the optimum level. It is composed of the fluid maneuvering par, including the motor, impeller, and sewage inlet, the aeration room of the guide wing, aeration pipe, perforated pipe or perforated plate, and current outlet. Looking at its operation process, first it rotates the impeller simultaneously to supplying outside air into the water through the aeration pipe. As the impeller rotates, sewage is led downward through the intake. At the same time, the air supply to inside of the aeration room rotates the guide wing by collision energy, and the first aeration occurs by collision and rotation. As the primarily aerated air is led to the side, it strongly collides with the aeration room and the perforated pipe or perforated plate, and the second aeration occurs. The secondarily aerated air is discharged through the current outlet and led downward through the inlet. In this way, it efficiently supplies oxygen in the stream flowing through the current outlet. In this way, the submersible aerator of Kisan Submersible Equipment enables the smooth flow of water and air as the flow of air and water is evenly distributed and spread 360 degrees. Stainless steel is used for the aerator so it is more durable than the previous aerators made of cast iron. The purpose of the aeration is transfer of oxygen and mixed agitation. However, the current that is spread out in a radial shape can most severely fluidize the bottom of the tank that is easily deposited. It can also be used as an agitator when an air blower is stopped as its agitation performance is excellent.